Hello everybody, hello year two, and anyone else who's watching, welcome to my first video that we're going to put on YouTube, um, and I'm going to be teaching you how to tell the time. Um, oh, something doesn't appear quite right about this setup, just one moment, let's just see. I'll be back. Where is it? There we go, that feels a bit better. Okay, right. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to be teaching the time. So I've got a nice big clock here that I'm going to be that I'm going to be showing you how to teach the time with. So the parts of a clock. This is called an analog clock, as opposed to a digital clock, because an analog clock we've got these parts where a digital clock has numbers or digits on it. So this part of the clock, the main part is called the face, and we've got on this clock we've got two hands. Some clocks might have another hand, which is the second hand, but you don't need to worry about that at the moment. So just to recap, two hands here. The smaller hand is the hour hand, and the larger, the longer hand is the minute hand. Right, in, you'll, be, you'll learn about this in year one, but when the hour hand, when the minute hand is facing the top, facing towards 12, that means it's o'clock. And the hour hand is pointed to the numbers, we have the so this would be showing three o'clock. It moves to four, four o'clock, etc. Okay, when the hour hand, when the minute hand is facing straight downwards towards the sixth, that means it's half past. So half past and the hour hand will be in between two of the hours because it's half past. So this is showing half past two because the minute hand is facing down and the hour hand is facing in between two and three, okay? That shouldn't be new to you. I'll do a few um, examples and you and you say, tell, me, tell me what time it is. Feel free to pause the video if you need a bit more okay. time. So what time is that? Five o'clock. What time is that? Half past nine, because the hour hand is past the nine and we've got our minute hand facing downwards. What time would be that? Half past 11, because the hour hand is pointing past 11 and the minute hand is pointing straight downwards, okay? Okay, in this example, we're showing half past nine because the hour hand is past the nine and the minute hand has gone halfway around so that it is facing downwards. If I, if I change the minute hand, so it hasn't gone quite halfway round, it's gone a quarter right way round. So if, if it goes halfway round, that's half past. If it's gone a quarter way round, what do you think it should it will show? Quarter past. So, oops, sorry, the, hand, the hour hand dropped down a bit there. So this will be quarter past nine because the hour hand is past the nine and the minute hand is showing a quarter past. When the minute hand keeps going, it will now be half past nine and the hour hand will have moved, not up to 10, but halfway in between nine and 10. So if we can just concentrate on the minute hand, ignore the hour hand for the moment. When we're facing the top, that will be o'clock. When it's gone a quarter way around, it will be quarter past. And when it's facing all the way down, it will be half past, okay? So I'll give you some more examples. You tell, the tell me what the time is. Feel free to pause the video if you need a bit more time to, to work it out. Okay, what would that time be? Half past seven, because our hour hand is facing the half past, and, the, and the, the minute hand is facing straight down, the hour hand is halfway between the seven and the eight. Uh, what would be that time? That would be 10 o'clock, because the hour hand is facing 10, and our minute hand is facing straight up to show that it's o'clock. Uh, what about this time? That will be quarter past five, because our hour hand is past the five, and the minute hand has gone a quarter of the way round. That time, quarter past eight, because the hour hand is past the eight, and our minute hand is showing that it's gone a quarter of the way round. Okay, now, so we've already learned that that's a quarter past, that's half past, 
So if it goes off, it goes another quarter way, we've gone three quarters of the way round the clock. So our, our hand in this example, it's gone past the one, we're not a quarter past, we're not half past, we've gone three quarters of the way round, but we don't say three quarters past one, what we say is one quarter to the next hour, because we've got, we've got one quarter before it gets to the next hour. So in that example, we've got one quarter of an hour before it gets to two, so we say a quarter to two. Give you another example, if it was pointing at this time, the hour hand has gone past the four, so we've gone quarter past, half past, we're now at three quarters past four, but we don't say three quarters past four, we say th uh, one quarter to the next hour. So the next hour is five, so this time would be a quarter to five. Okay, I'll give you a couple of examples and see if you can tell me the answer. Okay, what would this time show? Okay, so if you've said a quarter to seven, have another go. It's not a quarter to seven, we've gone three quarters past seven, so the next hour is eight. So in one quarter of an hour, it will be eight o'clock. So this will be quarter to eight. So the minute hand will go around a quarter and then it will be eight o'clock. Okay, I'll do a mix up of some different ones to see for you to, for you to practice with. First example, quarter past 10. Next example. Half past 11. This example, three o'clock. Quarter to seven, quarter to seven. That'll be 12 o'clock as both hands are pointing. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that video of doing quarter past, half past and quarter two. I'll, try, I'll put another video where we'll look more about doing five past, ten past, etc. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you next time.